Howdy folks, Laxo oh, here, nice. and today, or I should say this time, we are going to be, uh, go ahead and combine Soy Phone, and then we're gonna go ahead and see what we could do with her. I am pretty excited to, uh, get her. We're gonna go ahead and get her to 5 star, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, probably just... Get her. Oh, by the way, I have all of her uh, bonds at seven star already. So that's super convenient. But anyways, uh, here we are. Lots to do here. First things first, let's go ahead and everyone's favorite part. So what I plan on doing here is I plan on getting her to five star, you know, going through all the numbers with you guys. And then I'm going to end the video whenever I you know pretty much top her off and I'm in my testing video I'm going to do two initial tests I'm going to do one with her weapon well I'm gonna do one without her weapon and then one with her weapon and also I need to do some uh, team comp probably you know messing around and seeing what I could do with team comps so expect that as well but unless let's go ahead and up into it here All right, I went ahead and picked up this. Where is it at? Went ahead and picked up this. Just so I could get the... So I can get her to pretty much max. I should have enough resources to get her from Prismatic Green 6 to Blue 2. So let's check her out. All right, here we are. Let's top this off. I honestly, I'm kind of tempted to get her to seven star just so I can have everything at gold, but is it worth an extra 10% uh, attack and 5% HP? I don't know. Good thing the, um, good thing the talent is not good. I, I am definitely appreciative of that. I don't have to worry about the talent. First things first, let's go ahead and get her to Orange O. I will check her at Orange, Red, and then I'll check her at Prismatic. Alright, so here are the Orange stats. There you go. Actually, we need to get her skills up as well, so... We need to top this off. And then one more shard exchange. Also, we need to check and make sure she has a war soul. I'm pretty sure she'd have a war soul, so. There we go. Five star. Let's go ahead and get her skills up. Yeah, I'm assuming she has a war soul, and based upon what I'm seeing so far, it probably has something to do with the. Uh, Crit chance, damage rate, and or uh, raising crit resist chance. Go ahead and get this up here. That is maxed. And next is Warsoul. No, actually, uh... See your increase attack by 750 plus 6%. 35% chance when attacking to do 10% additional damage. I'm assuming that's going to be like 30 or 40% additional damage. But when attacking, I'm assuming that's attacking and not rage. I don't know. All right, for the war soul, looks like it rolled actually, it rolled specially, so I don't have to waste much to get it up. That is convenient do i have enough i do have enough nice barely have enough that is good okay all right next let's go ahead and get her gear up to i think orange o is probably a good place to have it 
Wow, that is crazy though. 71 million to get her in gold. Just to get her gold. Or I'm sorry, in gold, just to get her to uh prismatic blue everything. That is why you don't want to level up gear, guys. Along with saving resources, but 71 million. It only cost me 8 million to get it to orange two, but 71 million gold to max her gear. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's just get her gear to a basic blue. All right, let's go ahead and hit this once. I'm going to do purple after the fact. I would have liked to for maybe this to be a attack, but uh, it's, it is what it is. And her weapon, of course, I'm going to wait till after we test her without her weapon to get that. And also, I'll be getting this to gold here, actually. After I finish her bonds. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to red now. Looks like 129k. Plus 30, about 30k attack. It's not bad. And then I'm going to go to prismatic. Prismatic, and then let's finish it off here. Oh, actually. Green six, and then blue two. And now blue two. 203k. All right, that's done. And blue two, what are we at? So from Prismatic to Prismatic to Blue 2, it is about 20k power and, what, 24k attack? It's pretty good. Alright, so here we have some numbers. Actually, let's go ahead and toss on a Warsaw here. Just any old Warsaw we can get. Here, Yodoichi. Uh, yeah, I'll take Yodoichi's Warsaw. And actually, let's show our numbers real quick as well. Let's do that real fast. And then we could do some power comparisons. So, with just one more soul, we are looking at uh, crit chance 72.9. So, about 73% crit chance. It's pretty good. Crit strength 17%. Block pierce chance. Effect accuracy. Effect strength. I wonder if she would work well with some more effect strength. Interesting. Maybe. Uh, damage reduction rate, 30.85. Didn't really expect too much there. Block chance, 31.5. Crit resist chance, 37.5. Damage rate, big boy number right here. We need a big number, 76.77. So those are her numbers. Again, with her numbers, what we're looking for is crit chance and damage rate. Probably crit chance, not necessarily, but crit chance, high crit chance is always nice. Actually, now that I think about it, what we'd want to put on her is we want to put a... Where is it? Crimson. Crimson would be pretty important on her, actually. She's going to be a big unit. So... And to think here, I was never thinking I'd need another Crimson Warsaw ever again, but... Nonetheless, I went ahead and rolled attack specialty on this. Unfortunately, it took me more rolls than I wanted it to, but I went ahead and put attack on her, so. Take a look at her attack now. 260k. Of course, that's that would go up about 20k, I believe. If I had her about 20, 25k, somewhere around there, if I had all of her stuff maxed. So let's just say 20k. Let's just say 280k attack is probably what we're looking at here. 
Actually, now that I look at it, I need to increase her. I need to get this going, so. Almost forgot. I needed to get her archives and albums and everything else up before I uh, give you guys the final numbers. So go ahead and do that really quickly here. I actually had a uh, quite a bit of these saved up. I haven't, uh, I haven't used any of these in so long. All right, let's go ahead and do this one more time. I think uh, 135 or something like that is usually around where I like to end it. Pretty much the next tick plus a little bit. Oh, look at that. Nailed it. All right. Let's go ahead and finish it off with some more. I think uh, probably 2,000 or so. There you go. 150. All right. There we have it. Now let's go ahead and check out her final numbers. I have her in position. I have all the runes on her. I have her ready to be checked out. All right, so final total numbers we're looking at. Uh, adding another about 20k, let's say. Uh, we're looking at about 315k attack. Um, let's just add another, what do you guys think, 30k down here? So... Probably 280, maybe 290k power. And then 41k defense, 1.4 mil HP. Again, those numbers aren't super exact, but I think that that is pretty, pretty fair, pretty close. Which actually is interesting because uh, he actually beats, Bia beats Biakia by quite a bit. So Biakia is in my lineup too. He has all of his gear pretty much around the same. Except for his is around purple, and hers is blue, so... I think as soon as I get this up to... Get this up to par, she should have around 300k plus 20k attack. So, 320k attack. Pretty solid. And that's, of course, not including the uh, character warsel, too. So, let's just add an extra, I don't know, 5 or 10k to that. So, yeah, not bad. We're looking at at least... 230k or so attack. Uh, what is Mudamasa at? Mudamasa at one or 362k attack, which is really really good. Again, that's why I think he is the best. Uh, here he is the highest attack in the game by by a, a lot. So yeah, pretty impressed there. I'm not gonna lie, but now's the difficult part because now we get to see if. Uh, her kit does as much damage as it says. I did take a bunch of stuff. Did I take a Warsaw off her? Yeah, I, I took the Warsaw off her. But I did replace it. So with her, we are looking at... 233 attack, or 247k attack, 233k power. Yeah, that is the difference. Night and day. That is almost a... What? That is... Almost a hundred K difference. Uh, no, probably like 80 K. That is the difference between, you know, characters that were first released and characters that are released now at full build. You're looking at what? 25% difference overall. That's, that's huge when it comes to a uh, battle, but I'm not sure how this is going to finish because she is a skill specialty and Soy phone is an attack specialty, so the defense is going to be different. I'm sorry, so the attacking a defense specialty is going to be different. But then again, so is the damage and attack and everything else, so. Uh, you guys are just going to have to wait for the next one, because the next one is going to come out here pretty soon. If you guys did enjoy this content, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. If you guys would like to chit chat, feel free to join my Discord. Link will be in the description as well, and I will catch y'all 
pretty soon here. Peace.